practice any religion or no religion without the threat of violence. Respect... <laughs> Respect for minorities, including homosexuals. Equality for women. It, uh... It amazes me how here in America we go nuts over the tiniest violations of these values, while gross atrocities are ignored across the world. Jonah Hill yells, suck my dick, faggot, at the paparazzi. And an entire nation goes into Twitter outrage until he is forced to perform that most debasing of acts, the talk show apology tour. <laughs> Meanwhile, in 10 countries, actually sucking a dick can get you stoned and not in a good way. <laughs> we hear a lot about the Republican war on women. It's not cool Rush Limbaugh called somebody a slut. Okay. But Saudi women can't vote or drive or hold a job or leave the house without a man. Overwhelming majorities in every Muslim country say a wife is always obliged to obey her husband. That all seems like a bigger issue than evangelical Christian bakeries refusing to make gay wedding cakes. Ninety-one percent of Egyptian women have had their clitorises forcibly removed. 98% of Somalian women have. Ayan Hirsi Ali grew up in Somalia and is one of them. She was scheduled to speak at Yale last week, but the school's atheist organization, my people, <laughs> complained that she, quote, did not represent the totality of the ex-Muslim experience. Meaning what, the women who like mutilation? <laughs> You're atheists. You should be attacking religion, not siding with the people who hold women down and violate them, which apparently you will defend in the name of multiculturalism, and then lose your shit when someone refers to Chaz Bono by the wrong pronoun. Hey. <laughs> Donald Sterling isn't allowed to own a team because he told his mistress not to post pictures with black guys. Okay. But if we're giving no quarter to intolerance, shouldn't we be starting with the mutilators and the honor killers? Or will that divert us from the real problem? That when Mel Gibson drinks, he calls women sugar tits. <laughs> you, you are confusing. That's not, that's not an you and the Trump voters are confusing usual with normal. Yes, it's good to like upset business as usual, but it's not normal, normal. Yep. when the CIA yep. says yep. we can't tell the president's secrets because we don't know if he will share them with Russia. That that's is time right. to panic. Are yep. you crazy? Yep. Yep. Oh, and, and, and also, and, let me connect how the lies. You know, you say that this is what the Republicans want to do. They just want to put that in a box, the crazy, the lies. I'm oh, not I'm... a Republican. Well, you sure sound like I that. don't sound like one. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a Republican. I wouldn't have voted for him. I'm not a Republican. I'm actually, I watch your show every week. I agree with almost everything you ever say, right? That's not my point. My point is the hysteria is not going to get the Democrats back into power. It's going to have the opposite it's effect. Working. It will it's empower working. Trump. It's, it's not working. working. Yes, well, it not is. hysteria, had, but we, certainly no, no, the demonstrations and we all did. that, you know. Marching I'm, every time he I'm tweets is not that. the way to be. No, no, no. It has worked because get back out on the streets. We won the court order last Last night. It is working. It is working. Right. If, if it wasn't for what Democrats were doing but, this but, week, we would have never heard of Betsy DeVos. We, we never finished Hyatt. the list of lies. Let's do our <laughs> list of lies. He said this week the murder rate is highest it's been. It's actually the lowest it's been. Yeah. Okay, then he said the media doesn't report terrorism. Then he said any negative polls are fake news. This is in one week. Then he said the cabinet, longest cabinet delay in history, factually just wrong. Mm -hmm. He's that thing I just told Al Franken about busing illegal people. Mm. These are all just out and out lies. And here's the thing, you could say, oh, they're just crazy lies, does it matter? Here's the connection. Jeff Sessions, our new attorney general, said about crime, I wish the rise that we're seeing in crime was some sort of aberration or blip, which it exactly is. Show the chart. There's a chart that we see of crime, okay. But Jeff Sessions says, no, my best judgment is this is a dangerous permanent trend. For, yeah, then you have, the, wait, wait, wait a second, then you have, the, the then you have Sean Spicer saying the Yemen raid, which was a giant dismal failure. 
We didn't get the guy we were going after, who's now gloating and talking about the fool in the White House. Mm. We killed children and women. They knew we were coming. It was not a success. But he's saying, because Trump says it's a success, we all have Why to... Why have you left out the fact that they killed 12 al-Qaeda operatives? Is that not significant? They killed 12 al-Qaeda operatives? They did? Yeah. Why have you left that out? Probably because they were eight years old. No, because it sounds better to say they just... <laughs> they weren't, though. But, they weren't, though, but that's not true. And my point about the crime figures is... Well, what the is, crime figures... What is true is that the crime figures in 2015 rose by the highest spike since 71. The figures for 2016 are likely for serious murder and gun-related crime, also no. likely to rise by a similar amount. I think no, everyone no. should be worried about the massive spike in crime. I think there no, isn't no, a no, massive no, no, spike in no, crime. No, 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 you what, are crazy. What? And finally, new rule, although America likes to think it's number one, we have to admit that we're behind the developing world in at least one thing. Their religious wackos are a lot more wacko than ours. <laughs> when, you may applaud that. When South Park got threatened last week by Islamists incensed at their depiction of Muhammad, it served, or should serve, as a reminder to all of us that our culture isn't just different than one that makes death threats to cartoonists. It's better. <laughs> because when I make a joke about the Pope, he doesn't send one of the Swiss guards in their striped pantaloons <laughs> to stick a pike in my ass. <laughs> when I make a Jewish joke, rabbis make kvetch about it, but they don't pull out a scimitar and threaten an adult circumcision. <laughs> and when I insult Scientology, the worst that happens is if... You know, <laughs> it is true. When it comes to scary ass religions, <laughs> extremist Muslims are like Godzilla, and we're like, Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. <laughs> I mean, Sarah Palin is an evil dingbat who thinks God opens doors, but she never tried to poison gas a girl's school. <laughs> as the Taliban did this week in Afghanistan. You think about the craziest religious wackos we have here in America. The Mormons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, that's not a religion. No. 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 Take the worst. The worst is the Christians who bring their God hates fag signs to soldiers' funerals. Can't get worse than that. Now multiply that by infinity and give it an army. That's the Taliban. Now, I've been known to make fun of Christians, but I have the perspective to know they're a lot more involved than people who target girls' schools, girls for going to school. Why, the worst thing our priests ever do is smother children with kisses. <laughs> But, you know, even with the latest Catholic horror story, Muslims could teach Christians a clinic in how to be fucked up about sex. And that's because Muslims still take their religion too seriously, whereas we have the good sense to blow it off. <laughs> Catholics, for example, don't follow the Pope in overwhelming numbers. They divorce, they have premarital sex, they masturbate. <laughs> And unlike the Koran, no one here seriously considers following the Bible literally. Guys don't look over their fence on Sunday morning and see a neighbor mowing the lawn and think, working on Sunday? I really should kill him. <laughs> now, now, Christianity, of course, went through a period like that where religion had too much influence. It was called the Dark Ages. For centuries, you either joined the church or were killed. But nowadays, when a Jehovah's Witness comes to the door, you turn the garden hose on him. <laughs> but before I conclude, it should in fairness be noted that in speaking of Muslims, we realize that, of course, the vast majority are law-abiding, loving people who just want to be left alone to subjugate their women in peace. <laughs> Thank you.
But I got to tell you, civilized people don't threaten each other. We sue each other. <laughs> Threatening, that's some old school desert shit. And I'm sorry, you can't bring that to the big city. I'm very glad that Obama is reaching out to the Muslim world. And I know Muslims living in America and Europe want their way of life to be assimilated more. But the Western world needs to make it clear. Some things about our culture are not negotiable and can't change. And one of them is freedom of speech. Separation of church and state is another. Not negotiable. Women. But the, the, the uh, Darwin deniers always say we don't have enough intermediary species in the fossil history. Does this, well, does this help that? Of course. I mean, that was true when Darwin himself lived. There weren't any. Um, <laughs> oh, but um, and they still say, show us the missing link. Where's your missing link? And um, there are quite a few of them now. And uh, right. Ardipithecus is just one of a great troop of them which have, which have been found. So... Uh, Explain this to me. I mean, we all uh, evolved, and we all have the same brain, basically, now. So how can some of us believe in this, not believe in, we shouldn't say that, because we don't believe in this, it's the truth. We studied this, and it's scientific evidence. But how can some people feel this way about it? And then there are at least half of America who thinks the world was created by a man in a cloud in six days who yeah. then needed to yeah. rest. I love that. <laughs> he's so powerful, he can create the universe, but then he's yeah. pooped. I mean, how, how can we have the same brain? <laughs> I'm sorry to say we don't have the same brain. I mean, there's, there's a don't. great variation. One of the main principles of the Darwinian theory is plenty of variation for natural selection to work on. And there's, sure enough, very plenty of variation in brain power. <laughs> all, the way, all the way from... Einstein on the one hand to Sarah Palin at the other. I'm Lee from the Church of Jesus Christ Indian Fighter. <laughs> Spoke on Saturday at a school founded by Jerry Falwell, a preacher who once said AIDS was God's wrath for fingering the Teletubbies. <laughs> a guy in magic gym shorts talking to virgin Baptists. Clown, meet college. <laughs> but again, not really a college. Because Liberty teaches creation science. In fact, they have an actual center for creation studies, complete with some bones and a guy with a lab coat. <laughs> Suck on that, Smithsonian Institute. <laughs> and they teach that the Earth is 5,000 years old and dinosaur fossils washed up in Noah's flood. This is a school you flunk out of when you get the answers right. <laughs> now... I would say we should take away their accreditation, but it's a private college and they can teach whatever they want. But at the very least, diplomas from Liberty should come with a huge asterisk next to your name. And at the bottom it should say, this institution teaches superstitious nonsense, hire at your own risk. <laughs> Conservatives often say that gay marriage cheapens their marriage. Well, I think a diploma from Liberty cheapens my degree from a real school. I worked really hard for four years and sold a lot of drugs to get that thing. <laughs> so if you want to go to some place that teaches the Bible is literally true and the earth was created last Tuesday when God got into gardening, <laughs> that's fine, but you can't call it a university. Target serves pizza. It doesn't make it a restaurant. <laughs> Have one thing in common, a belief that the Bible is literally true. She's not country first. She's Bible first. And not just the New Testament. That's the happy half of the good book. The baby in the manger and Jesus doing magic tricks. Long romantic walks on the water that turn into fishing trips with the guys. And a generally positive message. Jesus, after all, preached love and forgiveness, not shooting wolves from an airplane. The problem is Governor Avon lady She takes the Old Testament literally, too. And in that one, God is an insecure, rage-filled hybrid of Bobby Knight and Suge Knight. <laughs> He's been alive forever, and he has anger issues. He's like John McCain if McCain could fart hail. <laughs> He's pro-slavery, pro-polygamy, and homophobic, and he'll kill you for masturbating. More people get stoned in the Old Testament than in my jacuzzi. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
That's what I have to tell you guys. <laughs> if, there was a, if there was a video of Barack Obama standing in front of his congregation being healed by a black witch doctor, this election would be over. But there is that video of Sarah Palin. In the name of Jesus, every form of witchcraft is what you are rebuke in the name of Jesus. So ask your witch doctor if exorcism is right for you. <laughs> and I don't say witch doctor because he's black. I say it because when you're rebuking witches, you're a witch doctor. <laughs> witch doctor, folks, this is our country. We got to get it back from the forces of organized superstition. People like Bush and Palin simply cannot think clearly because they're in a big, scary, brainwashing cult, and it warps their thinking so much that they're actually horny for the end of the world. And it, that is not someone I want with the nuclear codes. So remember that video, and remember that Sarah Palin said, and I quote, I think I will see Jesus come back to Earth in my lifetime. To which I say, hasn't Jesus suffered enough?